is Colorado's own Channel 2 News Daybreak. It is 7 o'clock on your Wednesday morning. A beautiful, warm Wednesday ahead of us. If you have the free Channel 2 News app, you already know it. The headline, absolutely beautiful. You want that app so you can get the good news as soon as you wake up. And speaking of waking up, we're all a family here on Channel 2. Both those of us in studio, you at home watching, and our whole team doing what it takes. You have Natalie from her home studio there on the south side. Ken Clark joining us from Parker. And Chris Tomer, the picture behind you tells the story. It is going to be a gorgeous Wednesday morning. It absolutely is. Bright sunshine, about 70 here today before we deal with a cold front tomorrow and Friday. But uh, back us in Shanker camera, that sun just beaming through. Here's what I'm watching for Thursday, Friday coming out of the Pacific Northwest. You can see the rain hitting the coast. All of that will move into uh, Colorado tomorrow, Friday. But today, the hour by hour is just loaded with 60s to about 70 all the way through the afternoon. Denver in the front range. That chance of rain or a storm is so small, it's about 10% for the afternoon hours. I will look at Thursday and Friday and even mountain snow. There's a little bit of that in the forecast. That's coming up in a few. Chris, let's go back to you. Actually, I'll take it from here, Chris. Thank you. Let's take a look at the latest COVID-19 numbers in Colorado. According to no the idea. state health department, the total death toll now 486. If you look at this chart, you can see the virus death rate is flattening out. See there at the top, you can see the virus death rate flattening out. And remember, some of those numbers being released daily aren't necessarily the new cases and deaths that happened on that particular day. Some actually happened days or weeks ago, and we are just hearing about them as they are reported to the state. As of Tuesday, the total number of confirmed cases in Colorado stands at 10,447. In all, 2,003 Coloradans have been hospitalized with COVID-19. And you can see this graph from the health department. While the number keeps rising, the increase is beginning to slow down. Well, the state is getting ready for the transition out of the stay at home order to what the governor calls the safer at home phase. But one of Colorado's top doctors is sending out a warning about relaxing the social distancing measures too soon. Dr. Richard Samet is an epidemiologist and he's the dean of the Colorado School of Public Health. He's played a crucial role in deciding Colorado's response to COVID-19. Um, no restrictions.